Red Dead Redemption 2 is a prequel, set more than a decade before the events of the first game. That means you'll be meeting younger versions of multiple characters from the original Red Dead Redemption. Of course, it's been over eight years since that game came out, so nobody can really blame you if you forgot a few key faces. Here's a primer on everyone who, as far as we know, appears in Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption 2. Dutch Vanderlyn is the leader of the Vanderlyn Gang, a nomadic commune full of misfits, rejects, and anyone who didn't fit into the quickly modernizing society. As you might guess by the name of his gang, Vanderlyn is a bit of an egomaniac. In the first Red Dead Redemption, he leads a new group simply called the Dutch's Gang, mostly made up of Native American followers who, justifiably, share his distrust of the American government. After being hunted down by John Marston, he chooses to end his own life. In Red Dead Redemption 2, we see a younger Dutch. He's still charismatic and idealistic, uh, but not as unhinged as he'll be a dozen years down the line. As his gang is chased down by the government, we'll probably see Dutch's transformation from an optimistic outlaw to the nihilistic cult leader we saw in Red Dead Redemption. John Marston's also back. John was the protagonist of the first game, and he's a relatively honorable cowboy with a bunch of deep scars across his face and a penchant for getting fucked up really badly. He gets injured in the heist that kicks off Red Dead Redemption 2, and he also gets shot and left for dead by his own gang in 1906. He lives peacefully as a reformed man for the next five years until the Bureau of Investigation abducts his wife and son. The feds send him off to kill his former gang buddy, Bill Williamson, who also shoots him. By the end of 1911, John has hunted down and killed most of his former gang. He cashes out and tries to be a good dad, but then he gets shot. And this time he gets shot so many times, nobody can ever shoot him again. Edgar Ross is the man responsible for that final shooting. He isn't just the primary antagonist of Red Dead Redemption, he's the antithesis of John's character. As a high-ranking member of the Bureau of Investigation, Ross's actions are backed by the full force of the US government but he's unscrupulous, amoral, and frankly, a huge piece of shit. Oh, trust me. It looks better in the report that way. Edgar extorts and threatens John over the course of the game, and he gets away scot-free. At least it looks like it's gonna go that way until John's own son, Jack, takes him out of retirement for one last shootout. In Red Dead Redemption 2, we get a glimpse of a young Edgar, apparently working as the lieutenant of another government man. It's possible we'll learn what the Vanderlyn gang did to deserve his wrath, or maybe he's just always been a bastard. Let's go back to Jack Marston for a second. John's teenage son spends most of Red Dead Redemption as an off-screen hostage. He's awkward, bookish, and he doesn't seem cut out for his father's rugged lifestyle. But after his daddy gets shot 100 times too many, he decides to pick up the gun. We know that Jack grew up with the Vanderlyn gang, and in Red Dead Redemption 2, we see him as a little baby boy. And there is Jack's mother, Abigail. She's a no-nonsense lady who's also lived a tough life with the Vanderlyn gang. Like Jack, she spends most of the first game in captivity. But when she's finally reunited with John, we learn that she's self-possessed and funny, and has a remarkable patience for men who love getting shot. In Red Dead Redemption 2, it looks like she'll be hanging around with the gang, so we might get to know her better. Uncle is an alcoholic and a layabout, but loyal in times of need. When the feds kidnap Abigail and Jack, John puts Uncle in charge of the family farm. He returns to find it in disrepair. To be fair, this is what you should expect when you leave the well-being of an entire ranching operation in the greasy hands of one dirty old beardo. But when the army storms the ranch, Uncle does his best to defend the place before getting killed in battle. A younger, probably just as useless uncle appears in Red Dead 2. Bill Williamson and Javier Escuela were the chief MacGuffins of Red Dead Redemption. Both of them began their careers in the Vanderlyn gang. While John went straight, they went further into outlaw life, building criminal strongholds and colluding with shady governments. They both meet their ends in Mexico at the hands of Marston and a Mexican rebel leader. Just like with any prequel, we already know where these characters are going to end up. But the promise of the new game is that we'll get to see how they got to where they were in Red Dead Redemption. The first game didn't feature much interaction between John and his former comrades, but the details that we got suggested that the breakup of the Vanderlyn gang was just full of betrayal and tension, and I, for one, am excited to get caught up on all that drama.